you all here. Jamie, thanks for being here with me. And Happy to be Anna here. is my, and, and Amy, both of you guys are, oh my gosh, two videos. And Sue, and then my daughter's here. So thanks, um, and I know I invited a lot of people. Um, last year, I think we had snow as well. And this year, That's we have snow Adam again, and that does limit our um, accessibility. Just a um, little. But we're going to just kind of kick right in here, and we're going to be looking at some winter wellness today. Um, I have my notes that I've brought with me. Um, know, some of you know that I've been doing some little short videos about our 90 day and me, me new me in 90 new days. Me in 90. <laughs> um, and that's with the get ready to grow, um, just a little challenge to you as to what you can do in, in just a short amount of time. Um, and those, we had, um, I did some walking, and it doesn't matter. Wherever you are at, you just start from where you're at. And so that's really exciting to me. I really have enjoyed that. Um, you set your goals, not my goals, your goals. So whatever your goal is, you get to do that. And so it's just, and it, there's small enough challenges that 30 minutes, you can go to the mall and walk the mall for 30 minutes. And that counts. Um, walk your stairs. For th not, you do it 10 minutes at a time. Walking your stairs for 30 minutes is pretty boring. <laughs> but it really goes so much faster if you do it with somebody or talking to somebody. Um, I have a yes. really good friend in West Virginia. <laughs> and I found a new park that I went to to visit the other day. And at that park... I walked and there was so it had some great ravines and I could see some really tall hills, but it reminded me so much of West Virginia that I called Karen and I said, Karen, come with me. And so her and I walked. She was I talked with her on the phone. Um, so that was really cool. But you know, as we're talking about winter wellness, our bodies, it's a it's a total body. It's body, mind, and soul. We have to be all inter we are all interconnected. And as we're all interconnected, Every part of us, in order to stay healthy, we have to keep it inter interconnected. Um, so we're going to kind of talk about our mind first. Sue, you had mentioned earlier, sometimes it's hard to keep our peace. Yeah. What happens when you don't have peace? Well, you're disorganized. You're disorganized, you're nervous, you, you're grouchy, you're agitated. Yep. You Do just, you sleep? You don't sleep? You don't sleep? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, and so and that's what happens to most of us is that we don't sleep, and it's very difficult. And so we have to learn how to um, think positive things. And um, verse I wanted to share today is from Philippians. Um, it says um, Philippians four eight says whatsoever is true, whatsoever is pure, whatsoever is holy, whatsoever is good, whatsoever is kind, what is right and lovely, admirable and praiseworthy. Think on these things. And you know, as we think about the positive things, it changes our whole mindset. And when we ch when we do that, it actually changes us physically. It will change us physically, and so that inside begins to change our bodies. But it starts with our mind, and that's kind of why I wanted to start with the mind this morning because it really is all interlinked. And when we exercise, exercising does the same thing. During a time of stress, one of the best ways to get rid of stress is to go do something. Get outside, even in the wintertime. Go throw a snowball at something. <laughs> you know, it's crazy, but it really does mm -hmm. make a difference. It really makes a big difference. You know, and so those, because those negative emotions, they kind of get buried up inside of us. And I don't know if you know, but your liver grabs hold of all of those negative emotions, and then you become toxic. Your body becomes toxic. And so that has a lot of other side effects. And so, again, it's linking it in there. And how many of the diseases, as a nurse, you know this, how many diseases are out there yes. that are because related of... Related to stress. Related to stress. Mm -hmm. Well, if we could get our minds on a better page... Yes. Then it works. Then it will help our body to go into mm -hmm. that next section. Um, and how do you do that? Well, there's a couple different ways. Number one, think about be specific and think about what you're thinking about. That sounds silly, but if you're specific about what you're thinking about, and when you find yourself thinking about a negative thought, don't try to forget it, because when we try to forget a negative thought, we end up dwelling on it. 
-hmm. And so we have to so transfer. To turn it around. Yeah. We do. We have to transfer it into something else. Yeah. So by the transforming of our minds, even mm -hmm. the Word of God, you know, as we bring in the Word of God more and more into our lives, start speaking those words. You know, re get Bible verses that can help you to read. That's why I started with the Bible verse. Because it helps us to, okay, I need to think on good things. Okay, what can I think that is good about this situation? And sometimes it takes a while. Now, there are some oils that can help with the emotional release of things. Um, and what, and we can talk about that later, but today we're going to just kind of keep very focused on um, just a, a small smidgen of things. Um, but lavender is very good at calming us down. Okay. And then for our sleep patterns, rutavala and lavender are very good. And also, um, Cedar wood that we were just cedar wood is very good. Copaiba, Copaiba. Co How do you say it? I never can say what it. Is it? C O P A I A. That's how I always want to say Copaiba, but I don't think. Anyways, it helps um, as well because number one, it helps our body to, if it's swollen, if we have any kind of um, aches, it can help smooth that out, and so it calms us. Again, it calms us down. Um, the rutavala has rue, it has valerian, and lavender in it. And I, have, we started using it, my husband and I both started using it. And I've actually gotten a little frustrated with it because it makes me sleep more than I want to sleep. I've only <laughs> slept all my life, I've slept five hours. That's just, and as I've gotten a little older, more six. With rutavala, I will sleep seven, and then I'm going, oh, man, it's six o'clock, I should not be sleeping yet, um, but it does, it calms, because my mind does not turn off at night, mm. and so I'm thinking, you know, and I'll wake up, um, you know, we have two sleep periods, the first, the first part until two o'clock in the morning is your body, the second part from two to six is your mind. And if you're waking up during that time period, it's probably because of an emotional thinking process. And mm -hmm. so what do you do? Which I wake up every morning at 3.30 or 4. You, what do we do? We need to get up. And are we thinking about what's going on? Get up and get into the Word. Get yes. up and think about positive things. Not the problem. Okay, so, and, and sometimes it takes having to write down those goals. That's why I said write down, you know, as we're kicking things off, write down those goals. What are they going to be? And so that's our mind. And so, really, if we don't sleep well enough, okay, um, then it then what happens is our bodies can't function. If you don't get enough sleep, we get cranky. <laughs> we we don't aren't able to speak properly because we don't have the patience that we need. My cat's joining us today, Mr. Jack. <laughs> he thinks this is his jungle. Um, but. Our bodies, and as we do through that, it our body becomes, um, it affects our body. It affects our mind and our body. And then, if our mind and our heart is not <clears throat> right, it affects our mouth. Mm -hmm. It affects our mouth. And so then we're too quick for what we say. And we're not as patient with those that are around us. And so then, you know, and so it just, and then... Because we're not patient, then we get upset with ourselves. Mm -hmm. And because we get upset with ourselves, we do what we all do. We eat. Because that makes us feel better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or we'll grab a cup of coffee. You know, and, and that's the same thing. And so then, because you've had all these things happen, and because you're tired, so what's next? Well, middle of the afternoon, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I haven't slept good, I'm tired, I go for my cup of coffee, and I go for a cookie. Because sugar and coffee make me feel better. But it, it's Eat really, it, yeah, it's not good for our body. It's really not good for our body. I've been so, taking my vitamin B12 at ooh, 2 o'clock in the good. afternoon. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, I um, take that too. I take it when I'm really can't Absolutely. make it through the afternoon. I yep. know that's a horrible time to take it. No. no i got to get back when in your body mind. Needs it, that's a good time. Yes. The other thing that is very important is making sure that you are drinking your water if you drink your water at two o'clock or when you're starting to get sleepy instead of having that cup of coffee and I'm learning to do this more and more Jenny knows she's been talking to me and Amy both 
Um, I am at 32 ounces of water before I drink a cup of coffee. Excellent. Wow. Now, that sounds like a lot, but I have a 16-ounce cup. Mm -hmm. So I make sure I drink my 16-ounce cup two times before mm -hmm. I get my first cup of coffee. And I'm, I'm, and my coffee's half-calf. And so, you know, I've been able to take that out. And, it's, and I feel good. I feel good. Now, I still like my coffee in the afternoon. But I drink about this much of a regular cup of coffee, and I give it to my husband. So, okay, you take it. Um, but it's made such a big difference in, in being able to be alert in the afternoon and just drinking that water because I get real sleepy if I don't drink water, and that's one of the first signs. Or if your stomach is upset in the afternoon, yeah, that's a sign of dehydration, you know, when, when we do that. Um, so... And you know, one of the things we have to remember, and the um, uh, new me in 90 is really great because it's focusing on the body. What are we going to do with our bodies? You know, um, the, our bodies are a temple of the Holy Spirit. And as the temple of the Holy Spirit, what are we doing? And I think we just need to be more aware of that. Um, being able to have that in there. Um, we... You know, because we, um, when we're not feeling good, we get tired, or we try to make ourselves feel better, what do we do? We go to high carbs, high sugar, um, and that begins to go back to our mental abilities, and it starts affecting our mental awareness. And so then we lack clarity. And, you know, it all is so intertwined that as that, that we can't think and then we then we get frustrated and then we then I it's easy for me to just say okay I'm, I'm done I'm tired I need a nap or I need to sit down and and so then you sit down and so then you become take a nap taker and I do naps power naps I love a power nap especially in the sunshine those are the greatest mm, ways to absolutely. do that and they do find that power naps are very good for you they're yeah. very good for you because they help restore your body and we need that we need that um, body restoration. Um, I would caution, and this is one of the things that I've had to really, really, really learn to not have a cup of coffee and a cookie. <laughs> my favorite is, and my husband just bought me some peanut butter cookies, is to have a cup of coffee with peanut butter cookie. Well, you can't just have a peanut butter cookie. You have to put peanut butter on it. And then warm it up in the microwave, oh, so it's no, nice no. and hot. Or put a little bit of chocolate on it. Either way, oh, no. <laughs> those are so good. But you know, as I've studied and as I've learned about wellness, I have found that sugar is so detrimental to our bodies. It it and causes so microwaving, and microwaving <laughs> is too. I am really trying to get away from that. Yeah. More and more, Jenny's working on me to do that. Jenny, could you get me some water? <laughs> um, and, <laughs> but I know microwave is kind of there. You know, you can't, you can't start, the, if, if you try to do everything. Oh, that's true. It's like that's trying true. to eat an elephant. Yeah. Can we eat an elephant? No, no, but you can do one bite at a time. <laughs> and that's what you have to do with everything. So that's why setting the goals, you know, just being real strategic in how we think, where we're going to go. Where are you going this year? What are your goals this year? Have you made goals this year? Yes. What are your goals, Jamie? My goals are to continue on my Weight Watchers. Good and job. Stay on track. Yep. And to get to the gym two times a week and take... Sarah and I to our line dancing class. So that's three times a week three you're times. exercising. Yes. Excellent. And and so if you have set days, is it easier to to do that? If yes. If you have it all scheduled, it is. Oh, definitely. Yes. And that's the thing is when you set a schedule, okay, then because then you go, oh, I didn't exercise today. And it because that becomes more of a habit. It really makes a big difference. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. You and the nurse, you as a nurse. Oh, my gosh, Sue. I can't imagine. Thank you so much. Can't imagine. Yeah. Well, you know I work 12 hours, so I, I know. You work 12 hours. Long days. Yes. Right. I get up about quarter to five. Mm -hmm. I do my devotion and my coffee. 
And I've been carrying a water jug to work with lemons and oranges in it. Very good. Yep. And Which we can change to lemon oil. Yes. Lemon and I try to, mm-hmm. try to do that. And I my goal this year is to continue to exercise. Well, my goal this year is to get more closer to the Lord, spend more time in my prayer and devotion. That's number one. Mm-hmm. Uh, my next goal is try, you know, exercise and mm-hmm. eat right. I want to eat better because I really eat really bad. Okay. Really bad. Well, thanks and, for being honest. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if I eat one meal a day, <laughs> it I'm lucky. It is an occupational hazard, like teachers. Yeah, if I eat one meal a day, I'm lucky. Yeah, you know? because time-wise. Because yeah. I get to work at 7, we don't have lunch till 12.30, and then I don't get off till 7.30, and who wants to make a meal at 8.30 at night? Mm-hmm. Right, sure. So therefore, I have one meal. Yeah, yeah. You know, And so. actually, it's better to eat with... Um, it's better to eat smaller meals, even just smaller things. Um, yeah, I can't do any of that at work. Yeah, you know? right. I right. mean, so I'm actually starting at 1230. Oh, I'm sure. So I eat large yes, amounts yeah. of food at 1230. Ah, okay. And then, you know, then I'm I'm full. And then I'm right. too tired at 8 o'clock to eat anything mm-hmm. or make anything. Mm-hmm. Right. So what do I do? So I wonder if you could do something like the overnight oats and have it ready when you go in the morning. Home. Or what do I do? I go through the drive thru. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Crock pot. So, yeah, crock pot is another way. Yeah, I could do that. So my goal is to co- get closer in my devotions, mm-hmm. more time in prayer and devotion mm-hmm. in the morning. I made a goal to read the whole New Testament this year. So I eat about, read about four chapters of the New Testament mm-hmm. every morning. And then I want to eat right, Mm -hmm. and then I want to be more calmer, stress-free with my mother. Learning, trying to learn how to not get so upset with her, Mm -hmm. and then um, um, mostly exercise. Very good. Very good. Awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Amy, did you have a goal this year? Not really. Um, I started a, uh, I joined a goal-making group. But it didn't start until just this week. Mm. Oh. So I've only listened to the intro so far. Wow. So I'll okay. let you know Good. how okay. that progresses. Well, Good. 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 well, if you haven't, if Jen? I have a friend who's going to be texting me at 530, at least during the weekdays, to get up. Ah. Oh. I'm going to attempt to That's a big to deal. Get wow. To get up at 530 in the morning? Up. Yes. Yeah. And I just have to... Well, what do you plan on doing when you get up? <laughs> well, I'm hoping to do my but devotions get and get started on the day, <laughs> but 2 Corinthians 10, 5, and 6 say, We are destroying speculations and every lofty thing raised up against the knowledge of God, and we are taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ, and we are ready to punish all disobedience whenever your obedience is complete. Mm-hmm. And so I need to start for my house. I'm the most morning person in the house, but because of everyone's schedules, I've been waking up last because I don't want to face the grumpiness. Mm -hmm. And so what I need to do is just say, I'm going to wake up at 530 and I'm not going to let all of this grumpiness Mm -hmm. that's around me get me down. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start the day right and I'm not going to let other people drag me down into a bad habit. There's something really special about getting up in the mornings early. Absolutely. And it's, everybody's, you know, it's quiet Mm -hmm. and you really, I sit down with my coffee, I enjoy it so much. So getting up like 5, 5 5.30 in the morning before anybody else is up is is a wonderful time. Mm -hmm. And that's Mm -hmm. the hard part. My husband gets up at 5.15. Oh. So to wake up early, I'd have to get up at 4.30, but that's... I don't need to wake up four hours before my day starts. No, no, no mm-hmm. absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, you know, so it is really good to set goals. Um, and so, you know, you have your body, mind, and as we do, we talked about the soul, so you can see how everything interconnects. Um, the essential oils are awesome in order to be put, putting all those things together um, and really learning on how to use them together. Um, and so, you know, the one last thing I do want to mention is about, um, we kind of, kind of quick t- touched a little bit on sugar. There's, um, quite a bit of information about how much, you know, we've seen cancer rising today and as the cancer has risen, so is the United States intake of sugar. And there's a direct correlation between sugar and cancer and sugar feeds cancer cells um i do have a a website if you guys want to look at it 
um, and to see that that is true. And so I just want to encourage everyone to make sure that you're trying to do, you know, look at healthy alternatives. This is just really brief today. We're going to stop it here. Um, but I want, um, we just need to really look at some different alternatives to what oh, we yes, do every we day, do. Mm -hmm. to what we do every day. Mm -hmm. And it takes a different mindset. We have to change our mindset. Yes. And those, so. and the goals. You have to have the goal of And we have to have the goals in order to do that. Yeah. And I, I love Young Focus Living because Young that. Living helps us to set some goals. It helps us to keep directed the essential oils. Um, all essential oils really help to get us um, focused. Mm -hmm. And there's so many that really we think it's all new, but it's not. It's been around for thousands of years. The Bible is filled with essential oils. Yes, it is. Um, what did they bring to Jesus? They brought him frankincense, myrrh, and gold. Frankincense is an overall, <laughs> it's like the best oil ever yeah. um, for everything. Right. Um, One of the uplines or leaders has a saying, don't freak out, frank out. Frank out, out. yes. <laughs> And that would be a good one for you when when you're feeling and um, when you're feeling nervous or upset or anxious, get that frankincense out. And that's what I just that's what I did before I started. I said, "Oh my gosh, I need peace and calming." I I just grab my frankincense instead. Um, I start every morning with my frankincense because it does help me to direct my thinking into where I need to be right then, which is in my Bible. And what about but, myrrh? Tell me more about myrrh. This one I have to study more on. I, I don't know a I lot about it. I have one at home that's myrrh. It well, is great yes. for your skin. <laughs> it yeah, is it very, very, very good skin. for your skin. And it is another resin, so it's, I'm sure, very grounding. But I really don't know that much about myrrh to be able to uh, tell you. But I've got to be book very that will be our link for you. You know where I got my bottle of the things that I use for myrrh is like canker sores. If you have like sores oh, in your mouth so, or sores. Oh, see, we don't have a vitality, so, so we would use... I, I don't ingest You would it, use but copaiba would use like for a, that. Like that. That's a rich topical. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, that so makes sense. I've been using my mirror wrong. I put it on as an anointing thing in the morning. It is. Oh, oh, that oh is that's not wrong. Okay. No. You can't good. use it wrong. Very You're doing style. just fine. You can use it for so many ways. Right. What right. do you think it does for me when I anoint myself? With as I was saying, it's very grounding. It helps you to settle in. Yeah. So that's a really good choice for you if you've been feeling anxious. Exactly. Perfect choice. Yes. Yes. And there are some who will say that the gold is actually more more like this little plant we have over here, more like a little, some kind of a fir tree, mm -hmm. not actual Not like gold. physical gold, not, yeah, like not a the gold, gold piece. Gold. Okay. Or, okay. So that's, but I don't know that there's any yeah. uh, proof to that, but I've heard it in a couple different places, so that's something another thought precious. that, that it might be something like that, mm -hmm. which would bring us back to like the northern So Spice when is the Bruce perfect time to buy your oils? All the time. Here, I'm going to time and every shut time. this off. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Bye, Thank Facebook. Thank you so much, Facebook. Let me know what you think.